Hello everybody and welcome to part 8 of Lake. We've got some weirdness in the wilderness going on here. I think you're going to enjoy this one. So I want to take a minute to thank everyone that's been watching from the beginning of the series. And if you've missed out on some episodes, don't worry, the playlist is at the end of the video during the closing credits. Just click on that and do watch it from the beginning. Now let's get on with the show. I hope you enjoy. All right, so we'll park over here where the dogs poop. You can tell, see the big bear spot here? Mm-hmm. Yep. Well used. It's away from the proper campsite, so you know what's happening over here. All right, let's go interact. Okay. Hi, sweet Meredith. Hi there. Here's the mail. Thanks. On your own today? Sort of. Mickey's in the RV. He hardly slept last night. Said he had hallucinations of rotten fish in the RV. Okay, so... This dude has some problems, man. Yeah, well, he's the one that's getting high, not the, ho the hotel guy. Let's see. Did you have too much of the funny stuff? We'll do that one. I think he did. Did he have too much of the stuff that makes you feel funny? Well, actually, when I went outside this morning, there was this huge <laughs> rotting lake trout right below our window. Totally grossed me out. How does something like that end up there? Ew, disgusting. Or somebody put it there like that metal detector guy? Maybe oh, he maybe. put it there. I have no idea how that happened. I think we should say I may have a suspicion. Really? Yes. Oh, do you? We're trying to unfold here. Do you? No, I don't. Oh. But Meredith does. Well, okay. I may have... Oh, hold on. Mickey's got to read this. See? They're all, they always get weird. Mickey! Wake up, honey! Leave me alone. I'm still shit-faced. It's a letter from Damien. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. Give me that. Damien the Antichrist? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Looks like we won't be here much longer. Oh, really? Where are you going? We're going to Canada. We will be picked up this Thursday, early in the morning. What about the RV? Joan? Are you running your mouth again? Uh -oh. I'm sorry, sweet Meredith. Gotta go. Hey, you know what? You should come by Wednesday. Our last night here. We'll build a campfire, have a drink, maybe a puff or two. You know, and talk about the meaning of life, of course. The complete outdoors experience. Oh, she wants to have a picnic. Yeah, well, we don't want too much of an experience. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, why not? Joan! Awesome! Gotta run. See you Wednesday after sundown. So we're going to go to Bert's, and Bert's going to be down this way. We'll just go back the way we came a little bit. Whoa, whoa. Where are you going? I'm going to Bert Mackey's. I know that. It's right down here. I know, you just drove past. No, I didn't. Almost. No, I'm turning into the right lane. Oh, okay. Yeah. That That's what, how normal people do it. They don't cross two lanes and grass oh, and see. soil and mm -hmm. terrain. All right. I'm picking his video up today. Yeah. See how he liked the dirty dozen. <laughs> I'm sure it's right up his alley. I don't see him being a Jaws guy. Oh, I don't know. He's a fisherman. He works on a boat. Why wouldn't he want Jaws? Jaws is on an ocean. He's on a lake. Where are you, Bert? Where are you? He's not on the boat. Gotta make the collections, Bert. There he is. Looks like he's peeing through the fence there. Yeah, he could be. Hi there, Meredith. I suppose you've come to pick up that VCR thing you dropped off earlier. The movie box? Yes. Did you watch it? Yeah, I did. I did. Took some figuring out how to hook it up to my old TV set, but I got it to work. Didn't like it much. Silly war fantasies. So anyway, Angie over at the Flick Shack hopes this entices you to visit. Yeah, I thought so. Maybe I'll drop in one day. Well, you gotta get it back to work. Hey, here's the package. Thanks. See you around. I gotta say, I'm not feeling the beard style. <laughs> he, kind of, he kind of strikes me as a man that doesn't care. <laughs> well, I know, but he just shaved the part under his mouth and his chin, and then he left all the rest of it real long all over. Well, that's, that's just not good. That's, what do they call them, mutton chops. That's an old kind of fisherman's beard type thing. Yeah, it's not attractive. Well, he, I don't think he's really concerned about being attractive. No. Plus, he's still got his every Wednesday with Mildred Jenkins at the hotel, so. That's true. Yep. That's true. Baby daddy for those kitties. <laughs> All right, so I'm assuming now we gotta go see Angie. I hope she's in a better mood than the last time. All right, we'll park here, our old parking spot. 
a little far from the curb, but that's all right. I'll forgive it. Well, you know about getting close to curbs, that's for sure. Yes, I do. <laughs> Let's see the attitude today. Yeah. Hey, here's your movie box back. Oh, thanks so much, babe. Listen, I owe you an apology. Oh, an apology? She's going to give an apology, Jen. Yeah, you do. Oh, apology? For yeah, we should acknowledge it, yeah, shouldn't we? Yeah, she's a real... Yeah. Piece of work. Yeah. A real douche nozzle. Wasn't what I was going to say, but that's all right. Yeah, you do. I was Kurt. Just plain Kurt. And here you are delivering movies for me. <sighs> You deserve better. Apology accepted. Let's move on. So, any idea what caused it? Business is slow. More than slow. I mean, the Flick Shack is in real trouble. That movie box kind of was my last-ditch marketing effort. Nothing's worked so far. Ouch. I can imagine that causes quite a bit of stress. I've had kind of a stressful job situation myself recently, so I can definitely relate. Really? How'd you deal with it? <laughs> I came here. Change of scenery, huh? Hmm. Anyway, enough whining. Let me make up for my stupid behavior uh -oh. and reward you for your diligent movie fairing, my lady. Oh. Reward me? Yep. I've got Ta da! Coupons! They're one of the few perks this job has. I get to take myself and a plus one to a free movie of my choice at the new cinema in Astoria. Valid tonight only. Ooh, that's exciting. It'll take you out on a discount date. What? You mean like a date? Oh, you post people in your labels. But hey, if you want to call it that, sure. So what'll it be, Missy? You in or you out? Out. No, in. <laughs> what about the lumberjack? I'd love to. I'm in. Great. Pick you up at your place at eight. I know where you live. <laughs> anyway, gotta get back to it. Bye. Bye. She's got no commitment to Robert, the lumberjack. I wouldn't go on a date with her. She's too moody. So what? Oh, nice skirt. Yeah. Here, take a look at those movies over there. You know, the skirt looks like um, the uh, the dirt bag on the, my grandmother's vacuum cleaner that there she used go. to have. <laughs> All right, like so you color. look at these. What? This is this is the fly. Oh. That's Peggy Sue got married. That's Gremlins. That's the Karate Kid. Uh huh. We got back to the. That's supposed to be Back to the Future. Uh huh. E. T. L. G. M. Then we got Repo Woman down there. The What's Therminator. That? Oh, the Therminator. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Wow. And then what's this one? The maze. That's supposed to be uh, the, uh, what do you call? The Matrix. Yeah. Really? Yep. Oh. And then 16, 16 Candles, candles 19. What do they do with Rocky Horror? Oh, Rocky Horror. Rocky Thriller. Oh, photos and things. look, The Odd Father. Oh, jeez. the bottom <laughs> That's funny. And then what's the Ghostbuster one Ghost say? I can't Slashers? Think. Ghost Slashers. That's okay. funny. Oh, wow. We, oh, you that know what? Instead funny. of struggling, we could have came over here. Oh, look. The brunch bunch for the uh, breakfast club. Oh, yeah. Me man. Oh, <laughs> me man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's meh. Oh, the meh man? Yeah, meh man, mm -hmm. too. And then what's that one there? Susie Lee thing. That's supposed to be Peggy oh. Sue got married. Oh, Sussie Lee. Okay. Yeah. Or Susie Lee. That is yeah. funny. It's Susie Lee. I know. I know. I said Sussie. Supposed to be Blade Runner. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then um, E.T. Space Wars. That doesn't make sense with the E.T. one. What's LGM? I don't know. Well, that was fun. <clears throat> oh, look at this. None of them will go past. Okay. Excuse me, madam in the pink slacks. Oh, my. It's quite a get up. Yeah. All right, so traffic's backing up behind you, so. Let them see. If they're that stupid. Looks like they are. Let's oh, my see. gosh. Even the cop is sitting there in Yeah, line. you figure he'd at least come and give me a ticket. There we go. <laughs> This is where my wife says, I told you so, you're practically far from the cave. Yeah, well. I definitely don't want to pull a Yui while the cop's around, because... Maybe you should try. See what happens. Probably nothing. We could probably smash right into him and nothing would happen around here. All right, so this is where you reverse. You don't do what Jen did coming out of here. You... Running over people on the sidewalk? <laughs> Take a... <laughs> what... <laughs> Just one of those things when I went to edit the video and saw what occurred, I was just like, wow. <laughs> Don't we have material to work with here? 
I was kind of bummed. He uh, edited out some of the best moments. He put them in the blooper reels, though, which well, is that's, good, but he took it out yeah. of the main video. When we decided to do a blooper reel, I said, you don't leave the bloopers in the main video, otherwise it's not the next video is not bloopers, because you've already seen them. It's already been blooped. But they weren't actually bloopers. They were actual part of the production. It's yeah. not like we stopped production to do it over again. You just don't know the movie business, that all right? It's all real. <laughs> you don't know me, Jennifer. <laughs> that was all you part of the real goings-on, kids. All right, so now it's going to... Okay, there we go. Weiss Residence, Monday evening. Up, oh, Steve's going to call. Meredith! Oh, there you go. Hello? Hey, Meredith. How was your day at the office? Oh, it's Dad. Uh, I Hi, mean, Dad. mail truck. Oh, hey, Dad. Actually, it did start at the office. I was being interrogated. Interrogated? What? By whom? Walter Morgan, a higher up from the Post Service. He started asking questions about code of conduct and about Frank. Uh, Morgan, that walking corpse. He's always after Frank. What did you say? Nothing, basically. That's my girl. They'll never catch Frank anyways. He's always one step ahead of them. Listen, Mom's poking me. I guess we're not allowed to talk about work. Uh, here she comes. Bye, Meredith. Oh, Dad knows there's some sketchy Hi, stuff Meredith. going on. Was Dad trying to get work stories out of you? Hi, Mom. Yep, he tried, and he succeeded. It was a weird day. Well, I'm changing the subject right now. Have you met that new guy at the hotel yet, Matt? Yeah, I met him the other day. What a jerk. Ugh, I agree. He's one of the reasons why I won't miss working at the hotel. Anyway, how's life in good old P.O.? Oh, Mom used to work there. Oh, she used to work in the post office? In the hotel. Oh, in the hotel. Uh-oh. It's nice. I met some interesting people. That's good to hear. Interesting people. Do you mean interesting, interesting, or just interesting? I mean just interesting. What do you mean? You know what I mean. It's been a while since you've met someone interesting. That's right. And now I'm changing the subject. How are you guys doing over there? Oh, Florida is fantastic. I think I might actually want to live here. The warmth of the sun, it's very easy to get used to. Oh, Dad is telling me to get back. Looks like the bar's open. Wonder what he's ordering this time. I'll get an Alabama slammer. <laughs> Alabama what? Alabama slammers! Cheers! Between his drinking and Frank's gambling... I know. Oh, there's that woman again. Now she's in a green car. That's Angie. Oh, okay. This is fun. It's been ages since I've been to the movies. Well, they call it the movies, plural. But of course, we can only see one movie at a time. So, which one will it be? Now she's correcting her English. That's mm -hmm. not nice. My pick? All right, let's see. Big Trouble in Little China, Blue Velvet, or The Great Mouse Detective. All right, I'm ready to pick. The Great Mouse Detective. <laughs> Wouldn't have picked you for a Disney fan. Oh, well, let's get in touch with our inner child. <laughs> Going on a date to a Disney movie. I know, right? Sherlock Holmes, but it's a mouse. <laughs> How do they come up with this stuff? I don't know, but I had a blast. Aw, that mouse detective really brought out your inner child. You ever thought about having children, by the way? Wow, you just come right out asking the tough questions, don't you? I don't think it's that tough a question, but then I guess I knew pretty early on that it wasn't going to be in the cards for me. <laughs> so anyway, my parents' house is right down this road, as you well know. By process of elimination, I detect that we need to take a right here, dear Dawson. You can't take anything seriously, can you? I'm sorry, still stuck in that movie vibe. Next time, we'll do something in your area of expertise. You mean driving around in a mail truck? Sure. Park it anywhere around the lake and then just enjoy the sunset. Next time is a little presumptuous, by the way. <laughs> Oops, what a slip of the tongue. No comment. <laughs> so, here we are. Now what? Well, we could have a cup of tea at my place. I would like that. Elementary, my dear Angie.
Meredith, can I bug you for a second? Uh-oh. Sure, Frank. What's up? That Walter Morgan guy. Uh, what did he want from you? Want to talk about your gambling envelopes from the farmer. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, nothing special. He asked if I was settling in all right. Oh, okay, good. So, nothing about me, right? Right. Nothing. Why? Oh, forget it. Have a nice day, Meredith. Oh, before I forget, that Robert Harris guy was here this morning, looking for you. He asked if you could drop by. He's working somewhere in the forest today. Not interested. I'm with Angie now. I think Robert's a better choice for her. You would think so. I do would. All right, so it's a whole new day with a whole bunch more packages to deliver. So we're going to leave it right here, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care, and bye for now. Bye for now. Goodbye, hurting someone. Goodbye, hurting someone.